we ask the questions. Y'all gotta talk. Don't be scared to talk. Even though we're like um, tape recording and things like that, uh, we're just kind of doing this just in case like you guys have something to say and it like really strikes us. We're gonna write write it in our book. Like we had a um, interviewer who talked about children nowadays have too much freedom. And that was something that we kind of wanted to talk about because in a lot of our other interviews, that ke that subject kept coming up. So we're going to quote him on saying, you know, children nowadays have too much freedom. So, I mean, we're not going to take everything you guys say and, like, you know, put it in our book. We're just going to pick up on different things. And if we like it, we d we'll write it down. If not, you know, we just have a good time meeting you all. So I need a pen. You know a pen? Yeah. <laughs> what was the best part of everybody's day today? Starting with you. I can't say it out loud. Why can't you say it out loud? I guess I got my grades today. Ooh, I've always said that. They were that good. Part. Good. I got A, B, C. I know. I got A's and B's and C minus. <laughs> my day was good. The best part was um, probably that I got to come home for lunch and I wasn't expecting it. And so I got to eat my favorite, favorite, favorite leftover noodles with sour cream and cheddar and chives, <laughs> <laughs> which I know sounds weird, but my family eats it all the time because I'm obsessed with it. And so I got to eat that along with my peanut butter sandwich. And I thought it would just be the peanut butter. Ew. Gross peanut butter. I love it. Sharifa, <laughs> Sharifa. Mark. 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 My day was good. The best part of my day was and this boy didn't get on my nerves today. Because every day he come to my desk looking at me, messing with me. Oh, yeah. yeah, he did. At first I used to didn't like him. But now, he okay, but he too childish. Yeah. So today, I'm happy that he won't mess with me that much. Who? Tim. Jess, what's your last name? Taylor. No, Davey. Miss Pryor. The best part of my day. I don't have one. Having the girls come with me, come home with me. They've been bugging me long enough. We finally made it. When you see who? Minor. Lamar. Lamar Cornell Strong. I don't know what the best part is that. You don't care. Of course you do. No, my best is when the people came. Yeah. You got it. That was a boring. No, I like yeah. it. Yeah, because they yeah, were like, too. they were like, okay, class, get out your slates, and everybody bit down. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was still sitting there. I was like, they're like, I did your shit. I hit my head. Like, okay. <laughs> I tried. No, everybody okay. else looked too. Okay. Is that the Freetown Village program? Yeah. Yeah. Was that cool? What they do? Like we were the class, but I felt that that woman yeah, was sexist. Too much. She like <laughs> me and the most, cause that's how she was brought up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I think it's prejudice against the students. I don't think race or anything. I just think it's against the students because I I don't feel that we all should suffer for for five percent of the kids acting bad. And I don't think it's right that we all have to walk in jail and work in prison. It all looks like a prison. They don't need to treat us like no prisoners. But they got us locked down like we I mean, and not not just this particular, <laughs> particular <laughs> incident. I'm talking about in general. Since you've been going there, do you feel that you have been treated the same as the other students, or no. do you have a problem with? And why don't you feel like you've been treated equally? I don't know. I've only been there for a year. So. I don't feel right. I don't feel because like, cause I'm at honors. And I'm not prejudiced or nothing. But it's not that many black people in it. And then, like, it is said it would be this boy that speaks out and just say all this obnoxious stuff and all this other stuff. He just say all this stuff. And if I do one little thing, the teacher won't holler at me, but she doesn't holler at him. I don't know. So do you feel that she wants you to be a better person and try to make you achieve much more than... The other person, because she knows he's maybe she knows that he's not going to go far. She really wants you to go far, so she's harder on you than she is the others. I never thought about that. I have to say something. I'm in honors also, not with her though, because I'm in sixth grade, but they do, the, do that a lot because actually, there's only three people out of honors in our uh, three black people, and they're always like, you know, it's like, be quiet. Don't say a word. And then, like, the little other kids, they'll be talking away and stuff. And, well, they, they're hard on me anyway because my grandma goes there. But still, it's... It's too much they want us to fail. No, I think it's real. <laughs> I think... No, I'm talking about my team, not all the teachers. I know your team. My team. Put that that down. Every, it's our teachers. Not they they my owe you to get on our same little group. Our little... Uh, your uh, click. And then one more. Wonder why. They don't know nothing. They never be. They get people personal business. So who do you get with? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I mean, don't you feel that they're just trying to be nice? No. 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 Oh, but now I eat some jelly beans. Think it was all in my mouth. What do you mean? What's that? Because you weren't supposed to do that. It was the end of the day. She didn't even say that. She didn't even know I was eating. But don't you should don't you think you need to look at them wanting you to achieve instead of being, especially you, Jasmine and Jeanette, okay. that they really want you to achieve, and that's why they're harder on you. Yeah. Sometimes I think that Mr. Goo, okay, she, I think it depends she on man. teacher, from teacher yeah, to teacher. Did. She give a lot of homework. It depends on your, what your, who your teacher is, because not all teachers are like that. Oh, it seems like, like to me, she homework. gives us harder homework. Like today, she, my math teacher, she read as she brought in a college book and she had us do a problem out of there. And then she goes off and grades, like stuff like that. And then when we get a bad grade on it, like that reflects on our report cards. And like, it looks like we're dumb and we don't need to be in honors. And that's what makes me mad. Well, I think one thing, from coming from a teacher, oh, not, not, not that I'm a teacher, but I want to teach. Um, we're dealing with honors, you always uh, want to excel. Um, if they feel that you're, um, you're okay, say you're re- your regular classrooms and you have the honors and you have the advanced honors. If you're at that honors level where you're getting used to everything and everything is coming as a simple, we're going to challenge you and see how far you can go. So we may bring in some harder problems to see, how, you know, what you, if you can be able to deal with it. I don't think that's, um, said that the teacher's mean and she's trying to, you know, make you feel like you're dumb or anything like that. We just want to, they just want to see like where your head's at, basically how far like advanced are you? You see, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't think um, maybe college for from sixth grade. I can I can say maybe from eighth grade. 
Uh, I don't know if I call it from a sixth grade level. I don't know, but did you the problem that you was given uh, was it really hard where you felt like you really could not comprehend it at all? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm. But that's just from the teacher and me <laughs> saying that. And she's from China, Taiwan. Where is she? Arab in Pakistan. I don't know. <laughs> 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 And she she tried to be Chinese today, and she was like, because people in China, the teacher, she just puts one problem in the board, and all she did that whole period was just sit at her desk, and we had to figure it out by ourselves. And she said, because that's what they do in Japan. China. Mm -hmm. Now, in that situation, I'd be like, well, this is United States, and so we're not in Japan. And she Thank can't you. say that. Oh, you <laughs> did say that? No. Oh, I thought you said you did that. I know you can't say that, but my that's not a thing in my head. All of my teachers and my team talk about their family too much. Yeah. They, no, yes. they don't talk Mr. Them. Goo and her six cats. <laughs> <laughs> I had a baddie teacher who had like a bajillion cats too. She was weird. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. always smiling all the time. Walking down the hall like, like she made me smile because you know you see a smile, so you smile. <laughs> so she made me smile. <laughs> So all of you guys are on I can. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. They're on what? I can. I can. We have teams. Mm. Okay. They're yeah. separated in sections. I don't think we should be separated. Like, what we way did you walk down to the auditorium? Go. I don't even know. I followed a girl and they got ran over. <laughs> the bell rang. And these kids started running after uh, out the hallway. And the next minute, I was pushed all over to this. I don't know where I went. <laughs> I just remember the cafeteria, and it was across from the cafeteria, and that's kind of how I figured it out. It was weird. So do you think our students were rude to our guests? <laughs> I don't think they met. They, they, they don't look at me as a guest. They probably look at me as another student. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't think she realized she had, that she had bumped it to me. And then I, I was like, excuse me. And then she was just like, oh, I'm sorry. Like this. I don't think she realized that she had bumped into me. I mean, but it was just... Bell ring, you know, once the bell ring, everybody rushes to the hallways to kind of get up out of the classroom. So. They keep us in our classes. Why? Yeah, they we got in prison. Because we, we in prison. We on, yeah. we on probation. No, 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 no. We on academic no, no, no. probation. I feel that our teachers, like, they, they, um, like, want us to do good day with, like, they might have been, like, the right place. Like, they want to help us out, but, like, the punishments, I think they can choose a better one than the ones that they're doing. Like say what? Say, give me an example. Of what like because they said that people, um, they said that boys <clears throat> pee all over the floor and put soap and stuff, and they said girls write on the stalls. And I think they could just put cameras in there, but not like where you could see somebody, but where you know where you go to wash your hands and stuff. I think they could put cameras in there or but something. They ain't gonna help because they inside the stalls. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. But I think they could do something. They have a teacher in the boys. <clears throat> And a lot of times, like, one, I'm not even going to go that, but she go, she said um, that, now that I think about it, she really did. Okay, she was talking about, she was saying in the honors class, she was like, if you guys don't want to learn, I'm kicking you out of honors. Because some people, they just want to be garbage people. Like, you, 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 and you. She wanted to Ashley, Ronika, and Jerron, and they're all black. And then she wanted to Brittany, Lainey, and it was another one. Lacey and they're they those three are white they're white and I just now thought about it and she was like now they they want to become lawyers but you you just slacking off like you're not enough thank the Lord she didn't pick me because I would have went off serious? yes and like sometimes the way they give us homework it's like gosh this is my reward for being smart and I think that a lot <laughs> mm. hmm well <laughs> Mm, that's, that's random. Okay, well. Well, for their team, speaking of things that got school, I feel that they have a hard time on that team because they're watching and they're picky. And once they pick, they kind of hover on that one child constantly. <coughs> for instance, mm -hmm. this yes. one, not you. Because you never, they never bring you to the office. I mean, but they, they'll bring her because, you know, they, they'll they make a pick. They'll take a pick of a student and then they just pick on that student. And the more majority are black students that they have a hard time with. And some of them, you, I have a reason, you could tell, you know, you've got saggy pants and you're constantly in my office asking for some string to 
keep your pants up. And, you know, and these boys are constantly doing the same thing. So, but I think they're doing it to irritate the teacher because they're always picking on them, not realizing that this is going to cause them further problems down the road. Mm -hmm. That's to just go ahead and do what you're supposed to do and you have a problem <clears throat> and you take it home. And then, in a sense, in that, when they do, you know, because when they come down, I tell them, well, you need to tell your mother so she can come up here and talk to the teacher and get a better understanding of what's going on. But a lot of the parents, and I don't know about these girls, because they're really not ever in trouble. But the majority of the kids are, and you know, they don't feel that they can go home and tell their parents <coughs> that they're having a problem. A lot of them think it's cute to sag and to be bad, and they, they think that people they want people to laugh at them because they want attention. Mm -hmm. So they try to draw attention to themselves. But really, if if you get down to it, where there's nobody in their class, they act good and do their work. Because most of them kids that always getting in trouble, they just doing it for attention. So you mean nobody in their class by? I mean, I mean, like them, the kids that are really bad, to me, they're really not bad. <laughs> they just need somebody to help them, somebody to be their guidance. Yeah, but most of them. And a lot bad. of times when they get in trouble, they just do it like, so well. whenever, um, like what my grandma said, when you try to go home, a lot of parents, a lot of black parents, oh, you just, well, I don't know if it's all black parents, but a lot of parents do. They're, oh, you got in trouble. Get the belt out. Get the belt out. And they never want to listen to their child and tell a real story because a lot of times the teacher is wrong. But on the other hand, they are bad, so they <laughs> But. Do I say that? Well, I think some women <laughs> black kids are bad because, well, not all of them, but sometimes parents, they don't try to punish them in the way they always got to hit them. So kids look for violence. Since their parents did violence, they're going to be violent. And. Like, you know, getting in fights and all that stuff. So, like, they seem like they think, like, the only way to solve a situation is to fight mm -hmm. and not to just solve it peacefully by talking. And then, Danny, what people are saying. These values that you guys are mentioning, um, like solving through talking instead of through violence or discipline, um, parents disciplining their, their, um, Children, was that something that your parents um, taught you all? I mean, are you guys all in agreement? Or what were the values that um, your parents instilled in you? What, what did they teach you when you were growing up? I'm gonna tell me. Somebody hit me, hit him back. My daddy told me that, but my mom told me not. She told me not to do that. But I guess mama said they could talk, but if they hit me, hit me back. Like that little instant. My girl, I told me to turn the other cheek. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, girl? Just, <laughs> just, I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to blow my fruit off. <laughs> what about you? Get it. Um, my teacher don't let me um, go to the bathroom. And I got a pass and just walk out. Where'd you get that from? Fighting? Oh, fighting? Oh. I mean, just I mean, I'm talking about what she said. Well, yeah, just, I'm just, just any values that you're saying. If somebody hit me, if somebody hit me and hit him back, then it's mine. So you're not going to find out why they hit you. Just and if they hit him back, back. back. They ain't no if they don't do nothing, they hit me again, they hit him back again. Well, say yeah. that again. I'm she just said, if somebody hit you, tell the teacher, and if they don't do nothing, they hit you again, hit him back. That's hurt, but. Uh, <laughs> my parents, well, basically my whole family, they were like, somebody hit you, tell the teacher, and if they hit you again, tell the teacher again, but if they hit no, you, I'm like, different. if they continue to hit you, you know, if they just <laughs> do it, press uh, yeah. Because I want to put this on there. Um, but anyway, <laughs> when it came down to it, Doggy. a girl slapped me, and <laughs> I didn't know what to do, and... Went to my family and they were like, <laughs> they, it, now that I realize it was bad, but they were like, they were like, if she ever, ever, ever hits you again, you better knock her out and all that crap. And <laughs> I didn't, I just stood there because I was so shocked, like, she really hit me. And, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what about, like, manners? I mean, this part so that you guys are all good kids that you don't get in trouble very much is that you think because your parents like you know always 
were careful to teach you about manners and like no good no manners. <laughs> I, think it, I think it was my parents and all the people yeah. around me, like my community and stuff, mm -hmm. like people at church and stuff like that. And so, basically, my, a lot of stuff I learned myself. Cause I don't know. Yeah, it's like my parents gave me the foundation, mm -hmm. and now I have to build. I have to build on it myself. I have to try to find stuff out for myself, and I let them do everything for me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, my uncle, he's very wealthy. He, um, he likes to take me places, and I just, I mean, being from here, all we really went was like to Ryan's and just places where it was just my family, like kind of like by ourselves. But what? <laughs> Anyway, Ryan's well, is a good restaurant. Wait a minute. Just go to Ryan's. <laughs> well, like old country buffet and all that. Yeah, that's slowed down. They were nasty. Oh, At first they was good, then they got nasty. Right. Right. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> and then I seen all these people eating pants, and I was like, well, gosh, because I was just, you know, and first time I learned to eat bread with a fork. But um, I just realized that wow, you need to put your napkin on your lap and. Uh, you need no manners. Mm -hmm. Mm. And you're not talking. Yeah, we're gonna get all y'all involved. She's about me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. There you go, what's she gonna wear tomorrow? Yeah, I'm Can make some like her some more? Yeah, I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> Thought you were in honors. No, I'm just playing. She's not in honors. Yeah, she is. You said y'all was on the same team. They're on the same team. team. But it ain't no honors. It's oh, honors. Oh, like, it's for the honors. Ain't no honors team. The I can't even understand what an honor class. Um, flyers have algebra too. Yeah, but I so how do you how do you guys how, <coughs> how do you guys okay. get on this in the in the class or in the teams? Are they chosen for you or yeah, they're chosen, chosen for us? I chose my own. But if your parents don't like like the teachers, they can call up to the school and try yeah. to get it changed or something. I've been on my honor's team. I was like, okay, 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 the next question. <laughs> well, you're, it's not an honors team. You're on the team that has yeah, honors. So, it, that's what I was just to different. Say. They have different teams, okay. and they're actually picked alphabetically. For real. So, do you all switch throughout the year? Like, I remember when I was going over that. Yeah, like when you go you switch mm -hmm. to another team. Well, actually, mm -hmm. one team, like the Olympians, will take the racers, mm -hmm. and they'll just go. From one level. section, <laughs> and then they'll divide that section up, what? the sixth grade section, and they'll twist. Go on a computer, and and actually the computer picks picks where they go, but they're picked basically alphabetically scattered alphabetically. I used to think the I can thing was fun. Mm -hmm. It used to be yeah. fun, but now it's just they tricked us. Whack. Yeah. What's whack about it? Everything, you can't do nothing. But and you have to have certain requirements to go on field trips. Yep, you can't have no missing assignments and no classes. I'm you only can have one party, party per class. You can't department. have no ISS, no <laughs> detention. You can't so have why do you events. think they should admit it, black people from going on? I, I don't really think that. I think that, but see, that's what that black people to fell in. Bad that's bad. what we fell in. I just yeah. think that's just, if you, you, we'd be like the class. Oh, so here's, my, here's my question to y'all. Now, from an older standpoint, I, I see what y'all saying, but y'all got y'all got to hear what y'all saying. To go to a field trip that the school is paying for to help educate yourself in further areas, do we want to bring somebody who's not doing it as is, somebody who's tardy, somebody who's an ISS, somebody who isn't turning in their homework assignments easily enough? We don't. Do, why would we want to? Pay for them to go educate themselves. Other we have to pay by ourselves. Well, I'm just I'm just saying, but as far as like other things. In um, other places, it, they're it, sponsoring you. Yeah. If you can't behave in the school. Why? What makes you think? To me, they have no Tardies, tardies, and turning in your assignments really, to me really has nothing to do with your behavior. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah ISS so and in school suspension. It's a discipline matter that you have to. to go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, sometimes tardies. Sometimes you can't be tardy. Sometimes yeah. you can't be tardy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you try to if you try to explain to them what happened, they don't want to listen. They always just think that you did it. Because they said we we was truant. And we yeah. went to go take, uh, we yeah, went to go they, take a picture. Thing. Girls, now, hold up. <laughs> On that fact, <laughs> you know you're in my office and you're not supposed to be, and you're supposed to be going down to the <laughs> <cafeteria>. <laughs> No, no it ain't that. But, in my feeling, <coughs> that if I could inspire you a little bit during the day to keep you motivated to go on, I think it's okay. But 
if you have a rule that this is not what you're supposed to be doing, then say, Ms. Fry, we can't just come down. Can you come to the cafeteria and talk to us or something? You know, there's a better way. This just started this week. There are the new rules. But why? It's not because How many it times does. have they came to my office for you? Who? Never? No. Miss Carr? Why? She came once because they, 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 get they, 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 they get in our business and they twist, they twist stuff around so I can see. They twist to how they want it. If they want yeah. it like that, then they're going to put it like that. Because they know they're going to be listening to it. Ain't nobody going to mm -hmm. listen to that. They're going to yeah. believe what they say. Like what they did to Cody, I, that was wrong. Because he said, um, usually like when you ask to go to the bathroom, don't you go to the bathroom and get a drink? And mm -hmm. a lot of people do that. And At the, like, the bathroom, you cause drink. my teacher, <laughs> she watches this boy. She actually waits for him and they always go to get a drink or whatever. And the teacher, for some reason, because Cody was telling me, he was like, I asked to go get a, um, go to the bathroom and get a drink and uh she took up two passes for that and she she said that what she said he was doing something and and then he was like no i wasn't and then so he got in trouble and got a detention for that because they she said that he was talking back because he said no i didn't and didn't even let him tell the story so mm -hmm. mm. and what i think about black people i think they always trying to put slavery and something. Slavery is over and done with, and they always trying to blame slavery for their faults. Oh, I ain't get a job because I'm black. Oh, they treat me like yes. this. I just thought about that because people keep on saying that it's against the black people and well, stuff. You just, I was going to say, you just said that earlier about going to a field trip. I think I didn't they trying say to that. pull the black people no, down. No, she oh, said okay. that. I didn't say that. Pull them black people down. Why, do you, and do I'm you? not even black. I'm <laughs> both, and I'm glad that I'm both. <laughs> I'm white and black. I'm proud. That's good. You don't hear a lot both. of knowledge in that. Yeah. Yeah, so why are you saying that? Yeah, you do. I just thought about something. When you get in detention, white people get in there too. White people get tardies too. And white people do, basically, there's a lot of white bad kids. Really bad kids. It's both. And, yeah. But the majority is one. Because the majority of white kids go to our school. The white outrage. So you're going to see more white and I think we should have more diversity in our teachers. And Excuse me? Yes. I said I think we should have more diversity in our teachers because they're all the, just the same. No different. <laughs> they're Chinese, Asian, black, yellow, red, purple, green. Yeah. And why um, do you think we don't have? have incredible I don't know. I, um, There's only, uh, we got a, Mr. Johnson. Uh, I don't care so much. I don't care if they're black or white. I just and, wanted to be. No, I'm just talking about different ones, like and Miss Selby for her. But anyway, and like Miss Dragu and Miss Martin and all of, they're just. I don't know. They're just the same. All the we time. the same. Most of them are the same yeah. age. Like I would like having different age teachers. I don't know. I just like having different. Some of them, but most of them are like in their 30s and 40s. Yeah, Miss <laughs> Fisher, Miss Kyle, Miss Collins, and Miss Dillon. Ms. All Dillon. of them. They're the same. So do you think our blacks get their education and leave the system? Leave uh, Muncie? Everybody want to leave Muncie. There's nothing here. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? I want to go. You want to speak up? She Why? said she wants to go to Atlanta. Why? I'm going to L.A. Like Bow Wow. He, 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 I don't know where I'm going to go. He, he going to move to Atlanta. Wow. He's going to do it just like that. But anyway, I don't know either be a lawyer, a psychologist, psychiatrist, or a counselor. I don't do art. I'm the actress. I think in spite of all that stuff, a lot of the different teachers, I mean basically all the teachers, they do want you to become something. They do. And that's why I became a teacher. Yeah. And I don't see how, how all those other people get paid more than the teachers. The teacher is the one that makes the judges and the lawyers Thank and you. the doctors. That's what I'm saying. And all that stuff. And I think they should get paid more. <laughs> I wish society would realize that. They don't? Mm -mm. If you get, I'm sorry. If you guys would, could be happy and successful being a lawyer and an artist and an actress and what you guys want to be in Muncie, would you want to? Mm -hmm. Or do you want to move away from home? 
I, I want to move I wanna because I, I would rather have it. I want to go move to a big city. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. Do what? But I think this I is a good starting place woman. because it's like so the clothes didn't even get all your uh, all the things that you need. Mm -hmm. to Elementary school at 67. We had so many kids in our classroom. They really didn't care. You do this assignment, you don't have it done, you get F. But a lot of teachers here, they're like, why didn't you do this? What do you need to work on? And things like that. And I think, because my all-time dream is becoming a doctor, and I think I would stay here. The only place I probably would become a doctor because the reason why everybody wants to move out is because there's nobody here. If you keep on moving, there's not going to be anybody here. And that's, I think. And I think it's good because like we have programs like the Youth Academy Leadership Program at the Children's Museum and the Mayor's Youth Council. Stuff like that. I did. I did. I did both of them. Right now, I'm doing the major council, and I did the youth leadership program last year. And, and people, people really pay attention for, to that. Because they got typed. That's what you just said. The youth leadership program. Mm -hmm. And the mayor's youth council. What do you do on this? On the well, on the mayor's. I mean, the on the leadership program, people come in and talk to you, and they teach you about leadership skills and what you're gonna need, mm -hmm. and all these other things. And then the mayor's youth council. This is the first one I ever had. And like we make decisions for teams and we try to make the community better for us and stuff. We, I just started, we just started it in January. Mm -hmm. And uh, right now, we're thinking about, um, you know, the underpass over on Madison Street. Mm -hmm. Painting the mural, calling it the Unity Pass and paint it. And trying to connect the south side and the <coughs> north side, well, you know, cross town and Whiteley, you know. <laughs> connect, connect that because like everybody was saying how they think that's the borderline of when you go on to the yeah. Yeah. it used to be in the day it was the borderline when yeah. we crossed over come over the underpass we, we were in cross town territory and everything <laughs> changed and we had to watch where we went mm -hmm. and on this side of town it was like the rednecks, which was yeah. shed town, so we had to watch what side of the street we walked on. And then Whiteley, um, they were like behind us, like you came to our territory before you could get to the white territory, which is worse, further down or behind us. Mm -hmm. So they had to come through us before, but we had to go through them to get across town. So it was like new territory, so you had to watch where you were going. So that's, I think when that people, became the barrier. I think when people do, when they do stuff like that, the good thing about being in Messi is because they put that in the newspaper and people notice that. Like, when my grandma has a picture of her in there, they really notice and they understand what you're saying because they put it in the newspaper. I know, like that Star Press said they were going to uh, sponsor anything that we would like to do and all this other stuff. And I'm glad like we have community that supports us because I know like if we move somewhere else, it could be community that don't even like you. They don't they don't feel that youth are important. But here they feel youth are important and they're willing to help us to do whatever we want to do. As long as it's good. So you do you feel that there you have just as much black support as you do white yes. or more white than I black? feel both. Both. They're all I think they're equal. So do you feel you have white or black support in your school system? Mm -hmm. I, it seems like it's more white support. So do you feel that you're being supportive in school with some of your decisions you make? And do they listen to your decisions to better the school or any of you on the school council? Mm -mm. So who picks the school council? We, we get a vote. We did it last year. So we don't have any black on student council. Yeah, mm -hmm. two, 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 Desha Woods and Sierra Jones and Leonard. And Leonard, yeah. But they don't. Student council. They, they don't do, do nothing. nothing. The only thing they got us was a step change. Because we really, to me, it seems like they do. They don't do nothing. They don't make decisions for us, really. Y'all don't have like for themselves. Y'all don't have like um. Thanksgiving food drives or cookies. Yeah, we have stuff like that on our team. They teams. do that for teams. The flyers don't do nothing. We do everything. The our kids is the one to do everything. We yeah, are, we the one to have the food drives. We buy their coats and, coats and all that kind Gross. of stuff. So do you know who that those go to, or is it just donated to a needy uh, family in the community? 
Uh, one the, the coach was donated to different places because they said, I mean, to uh, people in the community because they said they, all the coach they're bringing, they're going to take them to the cleaners, have them cleaned and all that stuff, and then distribute them to people that um, need them. So do you, um, who gives the teachers the name of the needy family? I guess they just, so, uh, last year we did something in English and uh, we donated, uh, everybody had to bring in books and they donated and we got to pick who, who we wanted to um, send the books to. And it was an angel tree or something, you could pick a person and buy them a present yeah. or something like that, I don't remember. And then we, we collected like school supplies and stuff for people across the yeah, seas. I don't know where it was. So how do you feel about supporting across over the seas people when you know that I like people in the community need school supplies and aren't getting them? Uh, mm. <laughs> I, I, I like, like your book. Oh, somebody talk, somebody talk. Hard question. <laughs> I like helping people cross seas more because, like, they're in third world country and they don't have nothing. But over here, it seems like they get it all the time, anyways. The people that's needy, we have the Salvation Army and the Red Cross, stuff like that. And I think it's more easier for them to get it than people in third world countries. But now it's start, starting to seem equal because missionaries and stuff is going over there and trying to help mm -hmm. them. That just made me happy. I was thinking of it. What was her name and her house burned down? Uh, Angela. That really helped her out in her school. Angela. Shockley. I mean, not Shockley. Grady. <laughs> <laughs> Grady. Yeah, yeah, she's in sixth grade. Did last year? Yeah, last year. Yeah. That, yeah. Like what's going on for we? Like okay. a month ago. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Gotta keep it. Yeah. That's another thing okay. about how our school really cares about them because every day we were just, uh, if you have anything, like, and they, uh, Nisha even made a list for her, like, things that they need and everything, and people really bring it in, and they made her happy, so that made me feel good, because that was one of my friends. So you think your school is supportive to the community? They're yeah, very supportive. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, um, Levi this too. thing for Riley, yeah, and, and Levi. He was burnt. He, but they say he's coming back, but he's gonna be in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like right now, we have to bring in cans for the for Black History. Yeah. yeah, Tiny Adams is sponsoring it. So, what do y'all feel about? Uh, we interviewed Miss Williams, you guys, is um, a physical teacher, physical education teacher, and she was telling us how. Um, Wilson, normally, um, they only have one week of Black History events, where normally everybody kind of supports the whole month of February. Well, um, they said that uh, some of, the, of Wilson's administration only celebrates it for one week and feels that's enough. How do you guys feel about that? I think they should, should do it for the whole month. Yeah, because it's not forward. called Black History month. Week. Yeah. It's called Black History Month. Um, yeah, we do, because we have... Um, I mean, we only we have do. that play, but we have the that kids <coughs> do announcements and kids are able to say a little speech or something over the announcements. They have been doing that. And I so feel they've been doing that almost all, most of the month. So I think there's, there's going <laughs> to be a little heard. more going on. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Jessica. Uh, I think it's good to have Black History Month. But, like, like if I was all white, i feel, where's our month? Where do we get it? But, you know, they get the history books, you know, because sometimes it be white people that make the books, so they put it how, they, how their perception is. But I think Mexicans should have a month, and everybody should have a month, because it seems like it just, it's just leaving one, like, one, like, one group. And actually there is, um, but I didn't learn this until college, uh, March is Latino Student Awareness Month, and oh. then as well as um, May, I believe is no November is like Asian American. Um, oh, I didn't know month. that. Mm -hmm. And if you like if that. you ever like really during those months you kind of pay attention. There's a lot of things uh, like on TVs and stuff like that where um, they have different kind of you know like things like things oh, they do on, for yeah culture right for. Uh, Things they do for Black History Month, so 
It's out there, but a lot of people don't know that. I didn't know it until I got to college. W were they ever put it in schools, like where we can learn stuff about them? I don't know. That's something that you can maybe bring up. Mm -hmm. Maybe. You know? Have a Do they have anything for Native Americans? Yeah, I've never heard anything. It was. They do something in Indianapolis about it, but I forgot what month it was. I I didn't know if it was about that or they just did. It. Yeah. I mean, they have like you know the the breast cancer awareness month, and then um um I mean, there's a lot of different activities that count. Not to say the whole United States celebrates, but. Indiana, different places I've been, all they all kind of celebrate at the same time. It's kind of good. You just gotta have, you just kind of have to know uh, when it is and when to celebrate. I got a question for you, uh, cause I read, I was reading one time I found it. My grandma about this piece of paper on from the Boston State paper, and it has it about the Miss Unity pageant. <laughs> like, what did you feel when they said when they said that stuff? <laughs> We had a we have a riot, but we had a protest <laughs> after that um, with the pageant. And when it was the pageant, um, is it is a diverse it's supposed to be a diverse pageant where um, a lot of different females um, from all different backgrounds are welcome to be involved in this pageant. And of course, it's like the same thing in the Miss Ball State pageant, but there's not a lot of uh, African American, Latino American, That's Indian, not there's not a lot that are represented. So we have this Miss Unity pageant in like second hand of that so they offer they let a student every year run it so this year I ran it and uh, we had about 24 females that started off in the pageant we had a Hawaiian um, we had two Latinos of course a whole handful of African Americans and then we had one white um, young lady so we had a, a big variety of women but after scheduling came down to it and making practices, a lot of them kept dropping out because they just basically didn't have time for it. So um, to the end, we only had six black girls. And so the editors of the paper decided they wanted to take it amongst themselves to say um, that the pageant wasn't unified enough. And basically kind of insulted me because I felt that I really did a hard job in trying to Push the issue of having more um, cultures in the pageant, but I can't. I couldn't make anybody, you know, get involved in it, of course. And so when they questioned me like that, I, I felt like really disrespected, like I was, you know, slapped in the face about it. So we had a big issue with the paper, and then it just grew into something bigger. So we had a little silent protest about um, us um, as African American culture not being represented in a positive way on Ball State's campus. And so I guess I think that's what you were probably reading about, mm -hmm. and it was just going on and on from there. So so far, you know. It's not over, you know. We're still fighting. So it's gonna be a year. I have fight. a question. Did you? For her. <laughs> you came from. Indianapolis. So from Indianapolis to Muncie, what difference do you see in our educational system? Nothing really. Was, was, it, I, was it stricter or? No, it was more. It was more. Freedom. Black people in schools in Indianapolis. And it's split over the town here. Because it's only like basically two schools, like Northside and Wilson. That's where everybody go and stuff. What school did you go to in Indianapolis? Harshman. What side of town was that? East. Mm -hmm. I went to 67. I, I mean, I don't think the North teachers third. really cared. Mm -hmm. I mean, they really did not care about us at all. In Indianapolis schools? Yeah, like yeah. I said, they were just like. Didn't do the work, you get out of It's probably because it's much bigger. They really did care because I remember when I was in first grade and my sister was in third and they let us enroll by ourselves. They let y'all enroll by yourself? Because mm -hmm. my sister, <laughs> she went to that school, I think like in second grade. And we enrolled by ourselves because we had caught the bus to school and went to the office. <laughs> I told you. And got to stay at school. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we did. We enrolled by ourselves. Uh, uh, I should have asked you guys in the beginning. Um, how many of you all are, have single parent homes or both parents? I have both. Yeah, you yeah, have two. Daddy. And you see your mix, your father. You got him. Black, black and mom's black. Father's black, mother's white. Mother's white. He, you're Asia. not a single parent home. You have a father and a mother in your home. <laughs> Daddy, you a stepfather or something like stepmother. No, it's just my mom. It's my mom. It's well, really. Mom. I, it feels like I have, it feels like I, like, there's nothing really missing in my life because 
I have my mom, my aunt, and my grandmother. Because my aunt, she, like I said, she's two houses down in them. My mom, she calls me every day on the phone. So it's like, I'm really not missing something or anything. But my dad does call sometimes. But I don't know where my daddy is. <laughs> <laughs> so as you said, so you you have both parents in your family, or uh, not biological parents, or what? What did you say? You said you were a Can you hear me? Talk, girl. What? She's quiet anyway. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait till she hit the tambour. <laughs> Because we, <laughs> we question that because that can be like a big factor on um, a lot of different things in growing up, like um, the way you respect yourselves or um, lessons that you learn or how you act in school or things like that. So that's why we question that because it's a, another issue that we're going to talk about in our chapter, uh, the differences between growing up in a two-parent home compared to a single-parent home, what you were taught, what you've taken, um, things like that. I only seen my daddy two times in my whole life. So what kind of difference do you feel that it made on your education? None. So do you feel that your mother's really pushing your education and trying to make you no. a better person? So you, why? Huh. Why do you feel that she's know. not? I just don't, because cause the thing we get better, she don't say nothing. She's like, you fuck, it's your fault. Some parents don't care. She don't care, but... I don't know. She just say it, I don't know. So do you feel that... If you flunk, it really is your fault, or if you flunk, it's your mom's fault, or do, or if you, do you feel that, that if she fault, gives you some more pressure and, may, and wants you to succeed, or say, or really wants you to succeed and you really need to do your work, does she make you do your work when you yeah, come she home? Makes, yeah, she makes make me do sure, work. so she's kind of, in a way, showing you that this is a better way and you have to get your work done, you have to do your school work. Yeah. But in the same mm -hmm. sense, she's telling you, I know what I'm supposed to do, so I need to do it. Right. So do you think it's because you're older that she says this, or does she always say this? Because I'm older. Because I'm the most responsible out of all her kids. Cause so how many brothers and sisters do you have? I got two brothers and two sisters. Right. Well, so they're yeah. older than you? Yeah. I got an older sister and older brother and a younger brother. No, she just live with two of them. So you're the more responsible one. Yeah. And you make sure everybody's got their homework done. No. <laughs> so you're not Because my sister, she don't ever have homework. But I help my brother with his homework. My little brother. I help him with his How old is your little brother? Ten. That's just what I said. What, how many people do you have in your family? Three. Does she have three single? No, I have four. Oh yeah, she's four. the youngest. I'm the youngest, but I got other sisters. They just older. It's my dad. Jack, I know you got five, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> girl. I have a brother. He's in college in uh, Minnesota, Saint Cloud, Minnesota. Yeah. That's good. And how many Ooh. do you have, Jesse? Double. Three, 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 twelve. Shut up, Patrice. Three brothers and three. No, two sisters. And I got, um, I got a half sister. I got a few of them. I got, yeah, I think I got a lot of them too. Like six people. So how's your mother with your education and and concerned about your education? How do you, what happens if you don't <laughs> do it? I mean, is she strict about your education? Does she force you to do your work or what? She, no, no, I don't know. She want me to do my work, I mean, but if I get an F, I get F, but I get punished. Some way in between that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So there is a punishment if you don't get your homework done. <laughs> are you guys as parents, like, really involved, um, like, in your, um, are you all on the step team? Yeah. yeah. That did a good job. Y'all need more attitude, though. <laughs> I see that. That's really good. Both of them. Attitude. I was like, all right. Everybody else is like real step. I didn't know it. That's what I wasn't really doing. I, I tried to tell them. I knew it, but. So I was scared day. myself. But we doing, we uh, performing at the uh, Junior Varsity game. This Friday. Friday. Cool. It's a, a we hope. Ben Davis, right? No, that's Muncie Central. I'm sorry. 
You hold Who they playing? England. We are. Davis. Davis. Oh, no, not Southside. Southside played Newcastle, I think. Yeah. South Ben Davis. That's my hometown. So, but anyway, so are you guys' parents like um, involved in like that, like coming to your different uh, events or like after school activities? Maybe you, you know involved in the play. I mean, did you guys' parents come out for oh, that? My mom would be too loud. <laughs> <laughs> she doing it. She's like, embarrassing me. And your mom's at work. My mom comes. Yeah. Mine do too. I just say my sisters come. That's the <laughs> They just pop up. <laughs> <laughs> so is that is that important to you guys for them to be there? I mean, I wouldn't even know she came there. I like I know I like the one a lot. Ain't actually with me in there. I like I like, when, I like when they're there because I know that they support me. I already know it, but they really they really show it to me that they when they're there that they really care. They can say it all they want. But when they show up, that makes me know that they really do care. Mm -hmm. I don't know, my mom care because she she keep telling me because before I never I never played sports at school, and she always be telling me she was in track, she was in basketball and volleyball and all this stuff, and she wanted me to be in it because I was I'm um athletic and stuff. Mm -hmm. They tell me to be in sports, so I just did it. They stopped telling me. What sports you play? Basketball. And you run track? Or you was just doing that as an actor? Actor. I I might run track though. Is she me too? I'm running track. I am. Well, you go down. I might run. Danger don't do nothing. Yeah, I'll have the height for running. <laughs> What's that good? Yes. I mean, the long legs. The long legs. Mm -hmm. You didn't oh, play sports. Like I played ball. And then you would look graceful but when I hear you swing it. You guys all have like really set goals in your career aspirations. Did your parents support you in that and like help you um, identify things that you were interested um, in? My mom and do hair. Ma, and like I said, I wanted to be a doctor. <laughs> when I was little, <coughs> like I can remember every Hall Halloween, my mom. My mom would have me dress up as a different doctor every I don't know. <laughs> and now, like, I don't know how, but like my favorite channel is like the history channel. I love that channel. <laughs> and like they're always talking oh, about I paramedics and and, and then came baby and oh, I love that channel. Oh, anyway, that's how yeah. my grandma she's like, Turn that off but like from what my mom taught me and stuff, she's like if you really want to do it, just go for it. What about you, Jessica? I don't know. But what I want to do, mm -hmm. uh, I want to be a, um, a volleyball player. I'm mean, getting a basketball player. And that's it. I want to play for the LA Sports. What's your backup plan? <laughs> mm. And then be an actress on the side and do a hair. Uh, oh, oh no! I want, first I want to do it. hair, then I want to do um, volleyball and basketball. What's your backup plan for that? <laughs> I don't know. Being a mother. I was thinking about your parents to support school. you in that. <laughs> Shut up, Katrina. <laughs> don't you play yeah. way? Yeah, I play way. Yes, I am. Like, do you think that your mother like helped you support that idea, or is she like, you don't need to do that? Cause I used to be want to be a rapper. Mm. <laughs> I did. I still can't love it. It's like Jenny T. It's like Jenny T. Alright. Um, what, um, we're going to write my book of questions real quick. <laughs> I'm running out of questions. Oh, can I say something? Yeah. Okay, you know how you was like asking, do we have a single family? I mean, you know, mother and dad. Mm -hmm. Well, some, sometimes that do matter, but sometimes I think it depends on what kind of person your parent is. Mm -hmm. Because, mm -hmm. cause like, you know how they steady proving this, steady proving that. Well, it really just depends on what type of uh, person your parent is. That's mm -hmm. all I want to say. I really don't believe on, on too many statistics. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like, it's, like you said, it's, a, it's based upon your mom. Everybody, so. Yeah, because, I mean, you can be in a single parent home. But have a stronger foundation than a person with a two-parent home, you know, or a three-parent home. It really doesn't matter. It's really based mm -hmm. on 
your your parents and how they mm -hmm. um, you know bring you up. Yeah, because preachers got some bad kids. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Police's. 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 Fire. He get one after thing. Cause you know police be having bikes and stuff. He stole them. You want that here? But she stole it. She get in trouble though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the question, y'all. Our our chapters are retraining the young ones. We said earlier about what it takes to raise a child in Muncie. Uh, what do you guys um, feel that it takes? I think that sometimes, like, if I was a parent, like a young parent, I wouldn't know what to do because when you discipline a child, the city says that you're abusing them. But then when you don't, then your kid acts up and you can't do nothing. Because, I mean, honestly, if I didn't get, like, in trouble, I mean, I wouldn't care all my grandma do yell at me. Big deal. Go up to my room and watch TV and it'd be all good. But, so, I'd be confused. Like, I can't do anything and then, so I'd be real confused. On them. But, I think parents definitely don't know. Nobody, nobody, there's no book in the world that says how to be a parent, how to discipline your child without mm -hmm. being in trouble by the administration. It's all a big learning process for even the parent. But, um, you said discipline. You think that's a factor that it definitely takes? Mm -hmm. To yes. Mm -hmm. Keep your children in line, I guess. And as long as you don't beat them to the point where you choke them. Yeah. And, and like, <laughs> the, I think the the courts and all that stuff. They need to realize that you're disciplining your child. You are not abusing them when you smack them on the behind with the. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like when you go as far as all these spatulas and forks and all spoons <laughs> and chairs. anything you <laughs> grab and pots. high heel shoes and all that. Now that I think that's going a little too far, but what else does it take? I think understanding your child. Trust. My mama did not trust my sister or nothing. Honesty. She bad. Mm -hmm. She ain't got her neighbor. Respect. Bad. Well, she's not bad. You have to watch them because no, some parents pull, pull their stuff because they don't want to admit that their child, it will, I'm not going to say bad, but they have problems because, like, my one of my friends, her mom thinks she's so innocent and she doesn't, she, like, she lies to herself, making her think that her daughter's so good. So she tried to, like, I guess her defense mechanism comes in, that's health. <laughs> and, <laughs> like, she tried to defend her daughter. And, uh, and, and try to blame it for everybody Everybody else. It's her daughter's problem. And she don't ever want to admit that it's her daughter's problem. I think you have to watch your kids because it's like, it's a lot of things going on in Muncie yeah. that their parents don't know about that their kids yeah, are doing. Yeah, it's a lot of young girls having sex. And, and getting pregnant and stuff. They think it's cute, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because once you, cause it's girls. She's in sixth grade, it's and okay. they, they say that she's pregnant right She's a six year she's she's not I don't think she's pregnant. She is she's not because <laughs> <laughs> we don't know who they are. Right now, it's, it's like they want attention. She yeah. wants attention. Like, she uh, doesn't uh, have it. She can't get attention you know. anywhere. So, so she in turn says that she's pregnant and What's just spreads it around. So but I think they think they think sex yeah, is good cute. because they sit on T V mm -hmm. and stuff. And, like, and they, they 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 think they, they can get they more boys like that. Yeah. Because they think okay, and the boys are doing nothing but fooling them. Like the girls that we hang with is all virgins. And the boys be all alone us and everything. But the girls that ain't that that done lost their virginity, don't nobody want them and they get mad at us because we still virgins and all the boys be on us and stuff. I don't even get it. Yeah, and like she was she is not pregnant, I know good one. She's on T V all the time. She was absent for one day and they and we had a skating party <laughs> and a girl a girl, that's Ooh. all I should say. And she's going around, she's like, such and such is pregnant, such and such is pregnant. And she's and she just made herself look stupid because she said that it was in the middle of the school day, she said that um the doctor just told him. Now how could she find out in the middle of the day if they were at the doctor and she was at school? 
So what did they have to do? At straight from school, we went to skate. I, and they just lie about stuff like that, and that's for no reason. Uh, another thing I think is like having your kids in certain programs, like expose them to everything. Just don't expose them to one thing. Let them know how everything is because one day in life they're going to have to learn. And it's, I think it's better to learn while you're young, not while you're older. Because then, like that's time of your life wasted when you could have did something with it. So what do you guys have to do other than your program? What else do you guys do? I, think I mean, besides go to the dance and mm -hmm. athletics. I mean, what else do you do? Hey, we go cat. to the movies, movies yeah. mall. She's good. Look, there was a program that my brother is in it's called ACT, and they go around places and they teach them about um, like African American heritage and all that stuff. And I think that's a rough good one because. Don't have all that stuff like they don't. I can't explain what I'm trying to say because like, would like, would you be interested in doing some of that stuff like some of the programs that seem so boring? Yeah, yeah, academic, like, like, like student venture and stuff like that. Yeah, stuff like that. Like a lot of these programs that they're making, that it's like for one certain type of person. Yeah. They need to uh, make it for different people. So do you yeah. think that there is is made for other people and the others? people that you're talking about. Like, I feel that some of my friends won't like the program that I be in. I feel like they're like, this thing is boring. This is stupid. I don't want to be in this. But I didn't need to make some programs for them. Because I be like, I be trying to tell them about the program. They don't understand what that I'm saying. <laughs> but is the program open to them or is it as I, I, mean, I, I think I need goals. a program that that draw, draw them to it. It's like, the, some of the programs is drawing I can explain it. Never mind. So you like, yeah, I know what you're saying. You're saying is drawing the high academic students. Yeah, like the yeah. academic team is so. You, that's why I wasn't in, and I would have been in it. But she made it seem like she was picking the people because she, uh, Hannah Tyler, and then they're like really smart in our class, and she was like Hannah do this, Hannah do this, Kayla, Brittany, and Lacey, and Laney, and. That's the only people who she would say, and I was like, wow. And she, she didn't even tell us about it. And we, I didn't even know until I talked to Lacey over the phone, and I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, yeah, I think I'm going to be in the academic team. I was like, what are you talking about? She was like, oh, Miss Sylvie didn't tell you. I was like, no. And I didn't even know what it was. I teach you being big and teach Chris, too. And I think, but sometimes. So you think going. you're not letting on what things are out there for you to participate mm -hmm. in. Sometimes it depends or on... Do you wanna, or do you feel that you're not reaching out to find what's out there? Or do you think, like, in the school system, are we keeping things from you? From knowing, like, you can go places, are you aware of different things that you can get involved in? I think they keep it stuff because, like, a lot of them don't know about certain people. people. And some people... So you feel that it's for certain people, but have you ever wanted to apply for something? No, I say they don't think that it's for certain people. That's why they don't oh, Okay, it. they, we, yeah. okay. black people don't feel that it's for them. They feel that it's for someone else, for the white No, I'm talking people. about, like, teachers, period. They don't think it's for certain students, so they tell the ones that they think that would mm -hmm. want to do something like that. Yeah, like they did me. And then when I asked her, she was like, Oh, uh, well, we already had a spot filled, and she never even confronted them. They didn't even have the paper yet, and I was really mad at myself for that, but she really hurt me then because she said all the spots were filled, and they didn't even have the paper to tell their parents yet, and she really hurt me. She hurt me a lot, though, but anyway. So why didn't mm -hmm. you respond or tell your grandma? Because I didn't feel, I mean... If she didn't want me in it, why would I try so hard to be in it? She didn't even want me in there. I mean, there's a lot of people in the world. You guys will be confronted with that. They don't want you involved in their stuff, but you got to take it amongst yourself and decide whether or not it's you gonna be beneficial. Benefit yeah. from it, right? There's a lot of people who don't want me going to school. It may have been in my family because they feel that, um, like I'll be the first one to graduate in my family, and so now I'm gonna be part of the better of the people and I'm, I'm not going to be like, you know, on the same level with them. So they kind of disown me a little bit, but it's like, I'm benefiting from my education. So I'm just going to kind of ignore that and move on. Or I'm, I'm, you got to take it and twist it. 
and Make use it. it as a positive instead of use it as a negative. Because if you keep going through like, well, I, they don't want to be anything, I'm not going to be anything, you're not going to get anything. Because everybody who's not going to want you to be in something, you're not going to be anything. Yeah, be? because they, they were saying that I talk like I'm white. No, I don't, but I mean. So, when, and when you guys are confronted with that, say, that's fine, I talk educated. Let I know, just say, because I, I don't educated. talk, I ain't going nowhere because I ain't at no party. I don't want to sound like, the, it sounds like you're ignorant. And why would I want to talk like that? Because I talk like I'm sophisticated, like I want to make something of myself. I'm suddenly acting like I'm white. Yeah. That's just right. because you've been into the That's like you're trying to do stuff. It's just from where you like came that. from and, and you've been in acting and different things when you were in Indianapolis. Yeah. And, and I think I'm so smart. Atmosphere. But now it's like you're trying to criticize people too. Mm-hmm. This is why you try to talk about people like that. Some people can't help it. That's just how they were brought up. That's just how they are. And so it seems like some people that can't help it seem like you're trying to criticize them, even though people you say people's criticizing but you. Then you say the same thing. Yeah. I'm not. It's just like because all the people who are saying that they they say they talk like that, but I'm just saying mm -hmm. like just because I don't. You sh and like when they do, I mean I don't care. That's just what you do, but. If I'm not confronting you, why should you be talking about me like that? Um, especially behind my back. I mean, give it up. We all have, you know, multiple ways of speaking. Like, you know, I talk to you guys a certain way, and then I talk to my professors at college a different way, and I wouldn't say something, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, like you were talking about boys peeing on the floor, you know. I would talk with you guys about boys peeing on the floor, but I wouldn't with them. Like, some of them I know better than me. Would you but generate? <laughs> <laughs> if I had to, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, something like urinate. Make me sound smarter. But, yeah. you know, like, some of us have, you know, like your Doesn't common speech like is maybe closer to the way that you, that you mm -hmm. speak in the classroom. Like, um, we were at the... Martin Luther King Day events, and I was in the um, leadership session that Mr. Bridges did, and he was talking to a couple different people, you know, talk on my level, don't say ain't, and, you know, like, you have to talk a certain way in the classroom, and then you can talk a different way when, when you're with your friends or when you're at home, and so I think that's kind of what you're getting at, like, people are talking about the way you talk at home, so. Yeah, because I, I like to say What? <laughs> oh, I like to what Terrence did, that's what I said. Yeah, how, yeah. how his class was set up, you know, <laughs> people did I don't know, I just thought to speak up. I don't know what. I didn't, I didn't you know. You were shining. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what did you like about that? Okay. Um, <laughs> because, <laughs> like, most of the time teachers, most of the time teachers will tell you, give you instruction what to do, but mm -hmm. he let us set our own rules and stuff, and we had to learn for, on our, for ourselves. And I don't know, I just liked it a lot. I want to be a teacher like that or something, mm -hmm. stuff like that. You know, but interactive, um, an active teacher, instead of a, so much of a passive teacher where mm -hmm. you sit and lectured all day. And that's really what type of teacher I want to be. I want to get and have different activities every single day to relate to whatever I'm teaching that day. And I think that's what makes learning fun and makes the student want to learn what you're talking about rather than having no choice but to. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, teachers out there, so. Next question. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, the reason. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> um, what has been um, you guys' experience uh, with racism around oh, your oh, your <laughs> neighborhoods, around <laughs> school, things like that? People used to talk about me when I was little. Call me white girl and stuff like that. They would talk about me because I'm mixed. I guess because they're not used to it and they were just talking about maybe kids talking about me calling me a little white girl and call me all this stuff and call me a half dumb biscuit and all this <laughs> stuff and they just call me all this kind of stuff but I didn't care but, but like then <laughs> I thought I thought that it was good like I thought it was special to be black so I was like they don't want to be black because people was talking about me and stuff but I didn't care about it no more. Then I realized who I am, and I should be proud of who I am. So I didn't care no more when they was calling me that. But that only happened, like, in second grade and third and stuff like that. Everybody at Wilson said, you black, really. 
Yeah, especially when you did that. Look at me. What do you? No, <laughs> but anyway, I guess because she got mm. she acted like most of them girls that that girl I don't try to act. That's just who I am. I don't mm. know, like I don't try to act like I'm white. Just I don't even on. think there's a such thing as you trying to act white. I know it was mm. really because all white people don't talk like that. Mm. <laughs> like Shirley. <laughs> it's really, it's really, <laughs> It's really to me, it's not no one perfect color. Everybody, it's not 100% white or 100% black. <laughs> what is Shirley? It's, she's an African. She, she came she from Africa. <laughs> and uh, you remember when like she came to try, she was asking for the chili. It's probably was mean. It's probably was mean to her. I'm surprised. It's not me. Yes, you are. Yeah. So what she said? Yeah, she she I was she cracking really it up. I tripped you with it. She was like, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, right. No, but like. So why are you guys? Why are you messing with her? And y'all try to talk about Twitter. We don't mess with her. We say hi, Shirley. She like she annoying, but I like the way she talk. But they mess with all the retarded kids that walk past. She's not slow. She just that she has learned stuff slow because she came from Africa. No, she is slow. She is. Oh, take that back. <laughs> but some of them slow kids is bad. Yeah. Let me tell you something. This girl cussing, cussing me. All I did, all I did was just sit there. She said, just... "You know what she said." <laughs> but he goes, no, the reason why I pick her is because I feel sorry for her because they're always like, like, because we were doing this, but and it was talking about African people and they had, you know, when they put those plates in there. John, they were like, they were like, hey, I got a plate at home. I'm bringing it in to you tomorrow. And, like, put it on her lip. I was like, that's not funny. Because her lip hangs, like, kind of anyway. And that was me. And, um, <laughs> like, they're always like, I don't like you. You need to sit somewhere else. Because in the gym, yeah, yeah, yeah. we really don't have, like, chairs. It's just a long bench. And she just really, really tries to get, um, friends and stuff, and I feel sorry for her a lot, but she's yeah, not be her friend. They were doing that to her on my bus. Mm -hmm. No, she, she, she can't say nothing without somebody telling her to shut up. I was like, y'all need to shut up and let her talk. They do, because she can't say nothing without somebody telling her to shut up. Nothing. They don't never, they don't never want to accept no one's difference. When y'all be riding my bus home, mm -hmm. and she be talking, they tell her, to her they are First thing so she why don't she you let it, why don't you intervene and say, well, let her say what she's supposed to do. Because she can get smart because of what everybody says. So I say she can do it first. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she does do that. And she does push the button a lot because she... <laughs> so you're saying the same thing as other kids. I speak up for people because these people be talking about the do kind of twins. Do you speak up Shirley? Uh-huh. People don't ever uh, say nothing to me when I see it. They don't ever treat her bad. But if they, be, if they would, I would say it's something to them. But see, one reason why, they, like, well, lately I've been trying to quit saying mm -hmm. stuff because sure. sometimes, like, I have a good idea, but when I say it, it doesn't come out right. It's not like I'm trying to be mean and try to get smart with the person when I try to tell them what I'm trying to think. Sorry. And, like, Man. Craig Upchurch, he's a guy in my class. He's really smart, but, like, I don't know what's wrong with him. No, and he doesn't Justin. act dumb. Oh, he just, he like, so smart. Yes, this boy so and Justin, he's he smart. <laughs> He be using big words, yeah, don't nobody know what he's talking about. He's like, well, then they ask him what it means. <laughs> he'll tell them he's coming, then she'll tell us what it means. Everybody's so dumb. He'll be like, he'll like, be talking to you like, yeah, for example, dinosaurs. He'll just yeah, come out of nowhere. Not technically. <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> and everybody be picking yeah. him. But he is, he, he, he annoying, I swear. You know what I went to school today? Tyrannosaurus Rex wasn't a predator. He was a scavenger. I read that science. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how that all had to do with the question. Okay. Let's go back. Repeat the question. <laughs> what have uh, What has been your experiences when we got your shots with, mm -hmm. with racism? Oh, that what just happened to me yesterday. Cause she <laughs> he said something about me. talk, baby. I don't know. He said something about this boy. I talked to him on the phone, but anyway, he said something about me being black, and I was like, excuse me, I'm not all black, I'm half Indian, you know, just playing around, and he goes, he was like, all right, Pocahontas, and he was like, I promise, I promise, the first time I see you, I'm going, hi, yo, 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 and I was like, that is not funny, and that kind of made me upset, like, I don't know, yeah, you do. 
I was reading this thing in the Jet Magazine, and it said something, you know, Wayne Brady, I think that's his name. They said he act more white than he do black, because he is on Drew Carey show with all them white people, and he married to a white woman and all this stuff. And I was reading that, and I was like, they wrong for that, because they can't say that. He's, He's still black. making money. Yeah, right. <laughs> Like, had somebody ever said that your hair was weave whenever you Yeah, that's what I said. Thing. That's what I just told her. Oh, yeah. Like, hair, when we took the ball thing Yeah, that's like that. They was like, is that our hair? She said, no. She said, yes, it is. People just automatically think that it's fake. But well, yeah, like, like today, like this girl, she, um, she, you know how somebody, like, give you, like, say your hair is cute or something? Oh, well, she what? Know that. I mean, so your hair is cute. Like, your, your hair is cute or something. Oh, okay. And then it's she... It's always like got some negative they, to say. Like, they always got something negative to say. And, like, this morning, somebody came back and was like, um, you you still bald-headed. And she's like, and she, and she's she like, like is that weed? Because like, I guess she had, like, a French robe. And she had, like, you know, some bun. Yeah, and then, and then like, that, the uh, week... Uh, before that, she had she her hair done. If you didn't nobody say nothing, about everybody her. told her it was cute, but she had to come up yeah. and say something negative. She's like, it's cute, but you still bald head. She's like, got mad, and she said she's like, you still bald head. No, she's stuff. like, you still bald head, but so it's cute. Mm -hmm. That's called jealousy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and like, and, and I, I it's, all, it's always her. And a few other girls that her, always the people that she hangs with. And I know this: when we get high school, everything's gonna change because you know they're not never gonna want to compliment you. They always gonna have something negative to say. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't even care. And, and, and then it's 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 a few people that they don't never compliment nobody, but they get they're mad when people. nobody they're say three something. Three people. Them. Yeah, and they were the same. Let me shut up. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> the same stuff over and over, but. Mm. So is that a thing because they wear things? No, I think it's just a jealousy problem. Yeah, and they like the jealous. one, the one, I'm, the one I'm thinking in my head. Like she has no room to talk about people, but she does that, so people <laughs> want to talk about her. Like she tried to talk about somebody's teeth, but I, I, I asked myself, I asked myself, I never said this to nobody. When was the last time you brushed your teeth? Because them things look right. <laughs> but then I asked. I never yeah, said nothing about nobody. <laughs> but they talk about people so they can make themselves feel good so everybody will leave, but them, leave them alone. But if somebody got to say about them, they, 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 they ain't got, got nothing. And they don't say nothing. I think say. just like um, cause me and Jessica wear our hair a certain way, the and then they like it, but it's cut, but it's not up here. Yeah, it's yeah. Said it looked like a, a nest. nest on top of our head. Yeah. At least I can put my hair in a ponytail. I mean, come on. And they hair nappy, oh, no perm, nothing. Yeah, they were like, mm -hmm. oh, they never my, heard of a perm. Cause my <laughs> hair is straight, and one time it like got frizzy, and I had my purse, and I was coming in, and I was like, dang, why does she gotta do that? Like, just cause she got some white people hair. I was like, no, I don't. And that just made me mad. But to me, it made me feel good. It makes me <laughs> good. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Thank you. But, Feel like, oh, I, feel I, like wish it. Did. I wish it did. <laughs> I wish it did. Look at that. How many inches is this? Three feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they do it for attention to me. Like with raising stuff, I think it's wrong when people be like, if somebody dating and one of black, one of white, like somebody always gonna have some negative to say about that. Yeah, just like they, like they try to say the white girls taking away all the black boys. Yeah, yeah like, like, like on, stuff uh, like uh, that. Like the white black girls. Girl said, she said, she said um, that she got to have everything because she had a black boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And then they got into a fight. Yeah. She wants to that. If he like her, he likes her. Because I guess she used to go with him. And he so y'all don't her. feel, y'all don't, um, I mean, honestly, if you were to see a black man, and a, no, let's put it in a different, if you had a crush on this fine boy in your classroom. Brian. Fine, smart, got it going on. Uh, uh, got it going on. Okay, listen, okay, wait, 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 but he got it going on, and you want him, but he wants this white girl, y'all. I'm going to criticize any girl he trying to have, I don't care if it's that white. I know, boy, are you going Still fight with him, though. I think that's what <laughs> No, I think that's what, but I don't part of it is. You fuck with It's when somebody, it's a black and a white person, and they're going together, somebody got something to say. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe, like, she just using him for money and stuff. Like, or he just using her for a car. Or for a car and stuff. Or for sitting there. Like. <laughs> 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 no, people in our school do that. I yeah, they do. And then they go around and talk about it like it's cool. Well, they, 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 they,
their birthday or something. <laughs> they. Exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, but they are the You should, you should see your dress. Take it in, Wilson. Yeah. You see what? Yeah. Yeah. It seems great. It was terrible. It seems great. At home school. Home school. What? Home. You say home school. And they say just because you're a girl, no. that you're a little girl and you don't know nothing. Look, they have told me that before. Oh, okay. <laughs> then but sometimes you might control. I'm not having no more of them. <laughs> Or just like, Ooh. yeah, don't write something. But I don't know. They always they turn always out. show up. Always. What the white girl? No, no, at the hotel party. Yeah, it's like, like all girls. Then yeah, you see boys. everybody from your school. You know, walking down. Because the it's that like one. It's that one girl. Yeah, the one girl. <laughs> talk too much. <laughs> they do too much. Okay. Too much. <laughs> okay. What was the question? Because What's the next question? <laughs> You know, all pretty much answered in your own, kind of your own experiences of what prejudices, and let them be black, white, whatever, you know, prejudice with females and their clothing and jealousy and all that other type of stuff. But prejudice is way beyond just the color of your skin. So you all kind of touched on that, which is, which is good to hear. It's not so, um, I, I was really expecting, like, all kind of negative stories rather than just being like, oh, she talked about my hair or whatever. So that's kind of good. It's a little petty thing rather than being something major. That's what they find out. Oh, my family. I forgot. I forgot to mention this one. Because, like, you know, I have some white family and, like, my mom's dad, they're prejudiced and then they, like, they didn't appreciate. Like, she told me that her family was prejudiced, but, like, my uh, grandpa, he, she said that, well, it was her grandpa, too, that he had black friends, but he would never want her having a black boyfriend. And like the whole, all her family was prejudiced, and now her dad doesn't even claim her because she has mixed kids. You know, all his family don't come because they prejudiced. Like so, one time when she had this, like, don't bring the mutts in here, you know, stuff like that. And then it was a big old, you know, that make you feel? everything. It made me feel bad, but then she just talked to me about it, and I got over it. And he's the oldest, right? Yeah. I mean, as a girl. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like. No, I can't say that. Never mind. <laughs> She's good to me. I was about to say, my, isn't she Mexican? Who? Isn't it Sue? No. <laughs> she is. She's part short, but she's not a full Mexican and it's a, no. I can't say that. Yeah. I was, but Just I'm not. I can't. Next she, question. She treats me good. Next oh, question. God. I love my <laughs> Do you guys have any, um, like, um, one reason I want to be a teacher is because I had a real positive teacher. Um, in the seventh grade, his name was Mr. White, and he was like a really, really good friend. I know I can turn to him when it came to history, which was his major, or if I had a problem with English or science or whatever it may be, I can go to him and ask questions because he was kind of there and kind of helped me through seventh grade, eighth grade, and then on to my freshman year. Do you guys have, what are you guys' relationships with your teachers? Uh, yeah. Are there some positive, all negative? Or? Uh, I feel. Um, I did something to Jeremy. Mine is on and off because oh, like, one minute I can think I could, Dixon. one minute I think I could trust my teachers, the next minute, because like sometimes they flip on you, you know. Yeah, they one minute, everything in the hallway. They, they talk, they talk about, about everybody. They talk about people. I wish I could come to our school. I really wish you can come to our school because it might seem like we're trying to exaggerate stuff. But like if you was really there, like you put little hidden cameras everywhere, you would see the stuff that really goes on because like some parents really think that we're exaggerating and lying about it. But they really can't put hidden cameras because they act different. Like our parents, when our principal come, they act different. Then when they leave, yeah. it's because so different. Because science, science, it's like, it's like, it's like five, it's like black people in our science class. And when we in science, the teacher, she see, um, Black people are not here, but she don't pick on it. But when the principal came in there, she was asked. She asked every black person the question, even if they had their hand raised or not. Now I was sitting there, I was like, why is she picking us now that he ain't here? But when he's not here, mm -hmm. she don't, she don't, she could care less if we had our hand raised or not. Yeah, like one time, our um, our assistant principal came in, and like she usually don't um, discuss nothing with us. But when he came in, and he was sitting there. She wanted to try to be all nice and tell us she'll walk around here for everybody. But if that was the case, he wasn't in it, then we have to um, find it for our own and stuff like that. So you feel that you you're being when you raise your hand during class time, 
And if there's no assist, a principal or somebody there, they ignore you and they ignore, ignore your, her, that you not know the answer and she's not helping you or not picking on you and she'll pick someone else. I said, well, mine is positive, but every once in a while there be a lot of negative, but most of the time it's positive. I think there's only really one teacher that I can honestly trust because a lot of our teachers, mm -hmm. they're, they're good friends and they hang out and then it's like, when you really want to say something, they just, like, Children that you really think it is private, yeah, like, nobody so. else should say anything. They run their mouth and tell, Children like, it's no big deal. And I think the one that I can trust will have to be Miss Fisher because, man, I love her to death. She's, like, my favorite teacher. I and think I'm going to teach y'all sometimes. She's just big different. Yeah, because mm -hmm. she, she understands us. Because they don't let us go to the it's bathroom. Right. We can't talk in the hallway or nothing. She, she she's, nice, she's nice, okay. Yeah. She ain't she's nice, that's good. That's she just, good. Miss, she uh, understands us. Uh, that's good. That's wonderful. And the reason, like, what <laughs> really <laughs> lit my fire that day and it just made me, <laughs> not <laughs> like, <laughs> my, but, um, and it made me feel so good because I feel like this a lot of times, like, I have a question. But the teacher just went over, she but she explained really it to, like, a point that I didn't understand. And, like, I don't want to raise my hand because then it seems like I'm stupid or something. And she just told me, like, she learned that at school. But if you have a question, you keep on asking until you understand. And that made me feel good. And I talk to her a lot about stuff. And <coughs> even though sometimes I don't ask, she tells me stuff, too. But that, that's a good thing. Okay. Yeah. To me, a perfect teacher be like, you know how you say we do hands on stuff and all the um, activities would be like that, and they teach you and they really try to help you, and they you can trust them and they can trust you, and like I'm, I don't know about sort of like a friend, but then again, not because you don't have to keep their job. They can't really try to be your friend, but they, you know, mind can explain. Never mind. Yeah. Go ahead. You're I can't right. explain it because I had so much ideas in my head, I just can't get them all out. Well, help help me because I'll be getting an interview soon with teaching. And so, sooner or later, I'm going to be substitute teaching. I may be substitute teaching in Wilson. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. So, in your, in your mm -hmm. idea, and she'll what, send you all to me. What, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't bad. What is your perfect um, picture of a teacher? I'm right. I mean, but in, in including, of course, you have to have the discipline. Yeah, that discipline. You, know, you can't, it can't, can't be, be like your best friend. I don't like want somebody that. Run, I don't thing. want somebody where I can run over them. I want them to be able to draw the line, you know, between. Like Mr. Robinson. Yeah. You, he just get run over the. He, yeah. this, this He'll be cussing. Yeah. Eat food. That's a you get gym, new gym yeah. teacher. Hey, I'm sorry, with my glasses. He'll not. Okay. They run over yeah. him day in, day out. I know, I'm going to say. Is that a student? Is that a student teacher? No. He's a teacher. Yeah. He's a teacher. Yeah. He's a teacher. Yeah. Yeah. And the student teacher get more respect than he do. Because yeah. yeah. the student teacher don't take nothing from nobody. He just let him run over him. I'll be running over him. He don't never like, say nothing. Mr. Wilson. I like Mr. Wilson. Cause Mr. Gary Wilson. He be, yeah. Because mm -hmm. he don't get yeah. ran over, but he is. Oh, he's cool. What do you guys think about Mr. Johnson? I know. I know. Oh, I'm not on his team, but people people that's on his team, they say he's a good teacher, but sometimes he's a little too strict. But they say overall he's a good teacher, and they but they said that he signed a lot of uh, homework, like, that in college or high school. I guess because, you know, he's trying to prepare yeah, for high school. Want you, right? Because that's going to happen anyway. They got us walking in a straight line. Cause they, do us. they they trying to prepare us for high school. They they got us walking in straight lines. Well, you don't walk in straight lines. Don't you think that's part of your discipline? Because you guys have been tardy to class. You're not doing getting where you're supposed to be. That ain't the reason why. Uh, yes, it is. That's there. part of it. We still be going to your office, but we still be making class on time, Miss Price. <laughs> we do. No, you don't. Cause I skipped the class. I tell you to go to class. Huh? I tell you no, not before lunch. I mean, before lunch, we don't win, win, win. But I think, like, I think sometimes Mr. Johnson, I don't know, I think he just... He tried to call you out. Too yes, much. he yeah. called you out too much. And you see, like, he always Especially called out the black people. Why? Because they're trying to be hard on because, him for the long uh, run. Because he know, he know how um, black people act. If oh, everybody get around together, he, he know they're going to act that. 
And he lied on us. He said we was talking and we didn't even talk. <laughs> I think he did because it was in the Black History program. Because, yeah, you know, it was all, I think he did. It's no, because we was all sitting up in the auditorium in the way corner and on the balconies. And he just pointed us out. And he called my name. Yeah. He had called my first name. That was my last name. And I really think he was being quiet. I was quite being quiet. No, because no. there was a whole bunch of people getting in trouble. This girl had a whole bunch of sticky <laughs> notes all over. She looked dirty. You know like, that boy off of Charlie Bear that has all that dirty? That's what she looked like because they were everywhere. I think he was just be pulling out. I think sometimes. Like, he just put down black people, even though he is black, but I think he put down black people. I think he's trying well, to be hard on you right. because it's going to be good for you. Yeah, it's good and, that's, for that's, you. and that's what I'm saying. I've ran into the Johnson a lot with um, working with Summer Scholars Program um, over the summertime, and he's a very strict person because he wants a better for our African-American culture. Mm. And it's like by any means necessary. Sometimes they may mean being strict on the black students um, more than on the other students, or you know, maybe calling out because some students need to be called out and recognize that they in the his wrong. Or, need to be called out you know, yes. trying to talk to an eighth grader. His Come big on. old legs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> we're on tape. <laughs> no, but um, sorry. <laughs> he lets us do everything, and all this is coming from the um, African American students. And like, they have, they're, how oh, I want to say this, they're like, developed and stuff. And <laughs> they, they, but a lot of other people, they're like, I saw, uh, I'm not going to say her name because I'm just be fine. But she like, she was touching her butt and I think that's a little too friendly. And, but. <laughs> They do that a lot, and they they're taking Ooh. advantage of that. They do that all. Every, mm -hmm. that's, I think that's one reason why they got to talk in a straight line. Cause people that's be not smacking gonna people nothing. booty mm -hmm. like yeah. man, yeah. Boy, sexual harassment, sexual, sexual harassment, sexual harassment. Yeah. with the boys. Or are you talking about teachers? I'm talking about so, um, the girl because, and then she said that um one boy. time she took off, he took off her shoe, and Who? ran and ran her. I can't think of his name. A, a boy or a teacher. boy? A teacher. Ooh. And she ran, and he uh, he chased her around the room because they were playing, and then smacked her on the butt with the shoe. And I was like, because she um, because she oh. didn't complete a uh, worksheet. Who's the that, girl man? That they were Teacher. playing around. Don't I can't tell, think of she's gonna be with no shoe. Ooh, if anything, you need to tell me later. I don't want to get yeah. anybody in trouble oh, well, you though. Okay, yeah. that's right. Or no, or you tell that because it's certain that. And most of the time, they just deny it. Like, oh, he's just my friend. No, he's not if he's doing something like that. Yeah. I, I wish he would do that to me, though. Oh. And the girl probably didn't even, probably even know she probably thought she, she probably was playing stuff. She probably thought about it later, but she probably didn't want to say nothing. Yeah. So she probably wouldn't say nothing to Well. But then something happened. Well. So I'm trying to tell you I still want to. Oh, somebody would try to text me. <laughs> but, I mean, you guys say that, but, like, once that happened, you're like, you don't even realize it, I don't think. Wow. Yeah, you're so shocked, you don't know what to do. I know, and they, she I just said that they were playing people. a game. How can you play a game like That's that? That's what we play on games. Yeah, at school. I can see if it was a boy your age that you like. <gasps> like Frederick, he just, he's Frederick, up. my cousin. <laughs> Bad. He's, uh. Yeah. On a different story, yes. but he is. <laughs> you like Frederick? No. She said. Brought the ghetto out of me. Yes, she did. You look dog like that. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Okay. He ain't ugly. Got some good hair. But it is cold. <laughs> okay, no. okay. We got no people. Um. I, no I got one more. Okay. And then I gotta run because I have to go oh. to church choir tonight. Yeah. But um. We were talking about the programs for Black History Month and Black History Week a little bit ago. Um, do you guys, like, when we were talking to Mrs. Williams, you know, she was looking at one of the Black History Month bulletin boards, and she was like, we make history all the time, but we only get this one week to, to celebrate it, really, in the schools, even though other things do happen throughout the rest of the month. Do you guys feel that in your regular classes, 
outside of Black History Month, do you get anything mm -hmm. about no. Black History or Black culture? Like in your science and I don't classes. like social studies. Mm -mm. You know, because they always. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we, 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 so we got time to do it. Hold on, we got to type the shot, so we got to get voices. I don't, I, don't, I don't like social studies. Yeah, yeah you teach all that there, too. <laughs> because they let us say Negro. All it is is saying, no, chilling, said, we just sitting there looking <laughs> stupid, feeling stupid about all the stuff that happened. Yeah, they be sitting up in there making us watch them slavery movies yeah. and stuff. But do you get any... Do you mean Meaning outside of Black History Month? Oh, yeah, yeah. Black yeah. Slavery yeah. Most of the time, it, they don't no. even tell us why we're watching it. They just put it in. So like got <laughs> a half a day. They just tell us we're going to watch a movie. It got something to do with slavery. And about when the crab shop, the, the dumb, crop shopper, I can't say, uh -huh. crop shares. Crop yeah. <laughs> yeah. How they, she had crop shares. How they was, how they was, are you talking about that movie? All of them that we watched on her half days and all this stuff, yeah. and I think they just like realize that um, doing that, you're getting some kind of culture that's your culture's well, coming back, and you're getting happened. some teaching out of that movie. But you have to be willing to, to grasp learn. the but every good from watch, the movie from the it. evil because you think, uh -huh. okay, they just shown this yeah. black slavery movie because all these white kids in here, and that's not the case. You have to grasp your history, and they trying to give you some, maybe they're not, but it, that's what it's about, giving you some history. You want more ice? Or, and even that, be proud to know where you come from and realize, well, this is where I am now, and it's because of them having to go through what they went through. This is where I am. And so, so don't always take the, the movies negative. and, yeah, don't always take that as a negative, be like, it makes us feel stupid. And by any means, no. And, and be proud. Because y'all didn't have to go through that. What would you do if, because um, it's this girl, and, like, I guess she feels that she's so close with black people or whatever. What would you do if she used the N-word? Because I done told her. Yeah. I told her that she didn't use that word because one day, I'm not saying that I was going to do it, but one day she's going to say it to the wrong person. She's going to cross the wrong line. Yeah, and she said it, but she hang around all black people. Basically. So she think it's okay. But she think just because she the only one to hang them that she can say that word. Mm -hmm. And because you them. say it to each other, and she she feels. And I think she hit it song. Better. She just say it just to be saying it. She because she thinks I don't think, know. She thinks she is black. Like, like she called herself. What did she call herself? Like, she said she said she a she, black girl. She, she a white girl. Black yeah, girl. that's what she said. Mm. But you know what? I think that that has a lot to do with what we're fighting now. What makes it right for us to say it to each other? And I don't think it's right. Because I mean, that's what they fought for. They fought for them not to be right, calling them that. Right. And now they're bringing her right back. Just saying this stuff. But well, we don't say nigger. We say nigger. Well, but I mean, well, it's, it's the difference. It's the difference. It's just, just taking off a R, R and... You just put slang, you know. Yeah. Nigger is single, singular. And yeah. And of course it's a plural. But anyway, but I think you need to come across her and simply say and come across whoever um, is In around around way. her and let her know. This is not what we accept from you. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you I mean, yeah. say, hey, now don't, you know, you yeah. put guys be up for da, 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 We and tell and her then that. You know, you I do tell her like a so, I guess, I guess This is something okay. that's unacceptable to you if you want to be mm -hmm. our friend. Because you know, she wouldn't know one call her a honky or something. I would never use that word before, but I she wouldn't know when nobody call her that. Exactly. But I mean, but you think why do people don't go around calling each other monkeys though? Just kidding. Dudes on the bus someday said we're hunkies and crackers and all this stuff. Yeah. I was like, I guess. But I want to, I want to come <laughs> across Miss Martin because we were talking about it, and uh, I don't want to be sound rude or nothing. But she said that the real good slave owners, and I call me. How could you have a good slave owner? Back then, like, they thought they the, did have yeah. good slave owners because but, they were good to care. their black, yeah. their Negro slaves. Mm -hmm. There was some good white slave owners. No, she said, now there were some good slave owners there back were. then. But how can there be a They weren't treated as slaves. They gave those people, uh, they gave them everything. 
And if you read that book up there, I was trying to get you to read the other if day. If you mm-hmm. work for somebody, you got to wear an apron and don't get paid. But that's better because you see after they didn't know what to do because, you know, they never learned how to read or write. And when they was about they to get set free, they didn't know what to do with it. They didn't have no mm-hmm. money to go get a house or anything and make nothing. So a lot of them just stay with them. Some people just try to think um, positive about everything, which sometimes okay is okay, but they're not getting the true reality of it. And so what you that makes it sound like she's kind of... Everything making it seem like it was positive, though there were All some over. positive. And I mean, by slave owners, they weren't as far as like abusive to their slaves, raping, mm-hmm. beatings, uh, whatever it may be, selling off families, breaking them apart, or Beat. they t- they took care of them, which means providing clothing sometimes, shelter. Um, you know, when the winter time comes around, instead of just leaving them with what the cotton that they pick on their own, they give them extra. I mean, it's just kind of giving they they gave an extra foot into. I mean, if that makes any sense, if you understand what I'm saying, but slaving, slave, slaves, period, were, was wrong. But on the positive, there were, there, there were sometimes not all negative ones. There were some that was really tried to better, um, I don't want to say better, but kind of gave they they care more, for their, more personal, yeah, I guess you say. more personal toward their yeah. people. Yeah. And they weren't called slaves, actually. Those people weren't called slaves. They weren't their slaves. They were yes, they worker. They were their workers. They weren't slaves to the the white people. Yeah. What do you call? Which I mean, which one do you think is was worse, the uh, Holocaust or slavery? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The Holocaust. The Holocaust was with the Jews. And because they killed them. No, mm-hmm. well, we did too. I mean, they did too, but they killed mm-hmm. more people. The Holocaust just outright mm-hmm. killed. Mm-hmm. I I wouldn't. I don't, mm-hmm. couldn't tell you which one was. Um, worse. better or worse, they both both were um, bad. But you know, the Holocaust had more like crucial deaths. You know, yeah. I think I slavery think. was like a long term death. You know, yeah. with the beatings mm-hmm. and the like, slow. suffering. Yeah, the slow to slow the where Holocaust was quick. Well, I guess it wasn't quick either because they did all the burning mm-hmm. and all the other type stuff. But I don't know. I went, couldn't tell you which That's one. It's gone on so. forever too, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like all throughout history, the Jews have been persecuted and kicked out of different countries and mm-hmm. different regions. No, it is still going so on. you had a question. What was your question? Didn't you have a question? Um, they basically answered it about whether they got any um, history, like black history and black culture oh. outside of black history. Nope. Like when you guys are in English class and like you have a different story to read in different days and then like react to it or whatever you guys do in English, you know, outside of Black History Month, do they make a point to no. bring in and not just, you I guess, do. we only what? had really one thing, and that mm-hmm. was like a project everybody had to pick. Somebody for this well, month, this was for this she month, picked. though. Uh-huh. I mean, like in January, March, April, know. May, June, July, things like that. Mm-hmm. But our English teacher, she told she said, you know, I try to incorporate black history all through the year. Mm-hmm. But see, I never mm-hmm. seen any. She said that she what that she does, mm-hmm. but I never seen any. She but she said that she does. One thing yeah. so far this month, and it might be some go over, but. So last month you had no black culture reading. You know, Not I mean, none this year. You guys should challenge or last your, year. Challenge except for your, your teacher. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to that, without being, um, yeah, without being rude and just like, oh, we need to get some more black history up in this. Instead <laughs> of doing something like, like Miss um, Stanford, I don't know, certainly. Um, was there any African Americans involved in this um, reading, like Shakespeare? Um, um, oh, what's the more? What, what was that? Oh, I cannot think of the title of that. I tried The more was, um, mm, when, um, I can't think of what the Shakespeare play is called, and I love oh. Shakespeare. Othello. Othello, yeah. yes, Othello. Um, I don't know if you guys read Shakespeare or Othello, but there was a black character in Othello, so say you guys are reading that. Was there any black people in this story, or? In, in history, in social studies, were there anybody who found who um, any Native Americans? And don't just stick, keep yourself to African American because it's more than just African American and white. But ask, is there any Native Americans or Spanish Americans or um, Asian Americans you know, involved? And just keep questioning on a daily basis. And then sooner or later, they're going to have to um, open their ears and listen up and get something in the, in the um, curriculum. I tried to do but, that once before, and she she told me that I'm getting off the subject. 
in our math books, they have stuff like that, like, in our algebra books, it's like these little notes, like, in the day, it has a Latin person in, like, if you flip a couple more pages, it'd be an African person, flip pages, it'd be a different person, and it talks about, like, it's talking about this first black woman to do something, and stuff like that, but really, they, our teachers don't really never teach us nothing about it. Mm -hmm. We had to find stuff out for ourselves. Mm -hmm. I go to the library and get books. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She just tells what page to do. She said, okay, you do this. Yeah. Um, I'm no longer teaching you. You have to teach yourself. Yeah. That's what she was telling us. Because Southside, you're not yeah. going to be doing this. So she, they're yeah, getting you ready yeah. for Southside now. Aren't they? But this is not yeah. Southside. Yeah. 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 I know, but we, yeah. we still got time. I'm still filled with eyes. Time to wake up, girl. Baby dolls, baby dolls, y'all better open up your eyes because it's about to be a rude awakening. Y'all coming from junior high school where you're at the top of the class to back at the bottom. And it's going to be something. Y'all going to think y'all coming across jealousy now and, you know, picking and choosing and doing whatever with little clicks and stuff. It's going to get ugly, but you're going to have to be able to deal with it. And so when teachers prepare you for learning or teaching yourself on your own, you have to do that. Because sometimes you, um, in college, we have, and I went to IU my freshman year, there was like 301 in my classes. I had to teach myself because my majority of the time, you know, I wasn't understanding what he was telling me about. So I only I had to rely on my own education and that book, and I had to teach myself through that class because I, he couldn't spend that extra time teaching me, you know, how to do this math homework or do whatever, whatever. And you gotta start learning how you, you gotta you gotta learn how to do things on your own. This is when you become a woman, you know, growing up and realizing there's not always gonna be somebody there holding your hand and pulling you along the way. Yeah, go, go, go. yeah, I got go it. Yeah. You guys can keep talking. So. I have to get to my I got to get home, too. Oh, okay. Okay, well, one last question. Um, mm -hmm. okay. if, if you guys were reading this chapter. You're not spending my dice, too. What is that? If you guys were reading this chapter and um, about training the young, what would be um, one thing from all of y'all, one thing that you would definitely want to see in the chapter? Like if this was a book that you were reading about Muncie's African American history, something you guys may end up reading one day in your um in your history classes or something like that about Muncie. Yeah, you know what? That could be something one I'm just thinking about that. But what would you want to see in the Training the Young chapter? All y'all, all y'all were talking. <laughs> oh. Well, what do you mean by saying that? Right? Oh, Training the young man? Or that's the chapter title. And what it is is like, like you guys said, so it, it takes parents to have respect, discipline, consistency, um, what was it, love, trust, things like this to help raise their children to be. Um, all they can be basically. That's what we mean by training the young. What parents have to do to help their children become better and further their education, anything like that. I would want to see, like, no, I don't know. I want to, like, are you talking about for, these years, for this year? Like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Say now, like, that there is people trying to, um, Train the young. They are there. Is people out there trying to do it, but you have to find it. Like it's all the time. The world is not gonna come to you. Sometimes you have to go to the world. Okay. Oh, I know. Um, it's not just um. They're like, say, sh no, I'm not gonna say that because it's more like, what if like somebody was just full blooded white and I got turned uh down for a job. Oh, he just turned me down because I was black and he was white and he think, and just because, and they go back to the slave owners and stuff. They're not the ones who are owning slaves right now. That was a long time ago, and a lot of, see, a lot of times I see that. And that's, Using the racism as yeah. an excuse. Yeah. Don't forget it. Don't, don't forget about it, but get over it. Like, always remember your history, but sometimes you just have to get past that and, and look forward, forward okay. and quit looking back. I don't know. Just basically, love has no color. <sighs> basically, you let everybody else say, I don't know. They're like, because cause they told us something. I, mean, I forgot what class it was in, but they said something about somebody wrote a poem or something. And um, at the end, it said if if um, there was no light, everybody would be the same color or something like that. I forgot what they said. But.
So be aware that we're all the same. Yeah, we're different colors. Actually, we're all different shades of brown. That's what I think. We all different shades of brown. You know, the white day, the lightest shade of brown. I think because I, I, what I think, I think that once, you know, what's that thing called? Mm -hmm. When we was all connected, what was, that, what was that theory that all the countries and all the, what's that yeah. called? In, in the in the past, when all of our uh, all the countries and stuff was connected, your Asia, uh, yeah. whatever that thing was called, I think that like one time that was it was all connected, and that uh, then it started spreading apart. And the only reason why we're this color is because the amount of sun, the amount of sun that was there. That's why we all these different shades of brown. We had to adapt to our environment. Mm -hmm. I can't stop. Oh, what was that that thing called? <laughs> it's a theory that once that they was all connected. Asia. Um, any final words or anything like that? Yeah. <laughs> Let her talk. I don't know. Yes, she does. Don't say what you could say tomorrow. Miss Pryor, I should have said this. Yeah, say, say it. Say it. You know you want to. I just think what everyone is. No, take what no, you, you think. Know, say what you yourself. think. That's what I don't say what. <laughs> You're wasting tape. Taysha, <laughs> say something. Well, I can shy. I know, but I tell my dad. Well, you were too. You just came out of yours the hour. I ain't. Uh, 15 minutes. What? I ain't shy. I talk too much. I ain't shy either. I ain't shy. I'm shy when I get around. Boy, boy. I'm shy. 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 I don't want to hear it, Katie. Katrice, you was not shy. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Yes, she is. She's yes. shy, too. To yes, she is. Yes, she is. I am shy. I just want to know. I'm going to say, y'all done? Y'all got nothing else to say? No, that just made me mad because actually, Nana, you know that little poem I read you? That one the first time I ever. I didn't just create that. Didn't know that one, did you? Because... When What's I was in poem? Indianapolis, <laughs> oh, you want me to say it? I um, it was for the little, it was for the little um thing that we had to do the star press or whatever, and I just remembered it, as I did. But it goes like I'm black. I made it up in the fourth grade. Right? It's like I'm black. You're white. Don't make fun of me because that's not right. I am different, but so are you. So let's get together and make life cool. I and then we got to, we're gonna type this. Let's see, y'all keep everybody oh, you gotta, you gotta okay. say it loud enough so we can hear what you're saying. Okay, I said, I am black, you are white. Don't make fun of me because that's not right. I am different, but so are you. So let's get together and make life cool. And then I had another one, and it was like, I have red blood, so does my friend. We are good friends, friends to the end. If you were to get hurt, I will help you simply because it's the right thing to do. And I put, I am black, you are white, but when darkness comes, we all sing to say goodnight. And I tried to say that because we were doing a big thing on Black History Month, and I tried to say that over the intercom, like, because a lot of people, like, read little stories and stuff, and I was rejected just because, and I was kind of mad about that. So I tried again. I'm going to see if I get in Star Press. And I think we all need to accept each other's differences, and every everybody's unique. And I think we need to try to learn from people, not just set ourselves to one type of person. Because if we don't listen to somebody, we might never learn. That's why you should. It's good to talk, but it's also good to listen. So you need to listen to everybody, because if you don't listen, you can miss out on a lot of things. So you need. To, I think. Yeah. Nah. That's it. Yeah. That's all. Right. That's all I was saying. <laughs> everybody's unique. Like, while well, saying I am different, but so are you. So let's get together. That is true.